we end with a Brooklyn-based artist who draws inspiration from her ultra-Orthodox upbringing. But her art is about much more than just her story. Shahar Golan has more. I started pursuing art seriously around eight, nine years ago. These drawings and paintings have developed in the studio first. Um, I brought it out to the street when I saw an opportunity once and I uh, went with it. Um, it's a kind of a, I call it a subconscious self-portrait. It's a more of a representation of a feeling than a literal sense to me. I grew up in a, in a really extreme um, fundamentalist, ultra-Orthodox Jewish community. Um, raised in Brooklyn, and um, I left it when I was uh, around 17 and a half, uh, just uh, when I was supposed to get engaged. I always felt since I was young that it wasn't the right life for me. Um, I didn't like how extreme it was, and I didn't, uh, I didn't believe in God, and I just didn't feel like I fit in, like I belonged. Leaving such a tight-knit community is one of the hardest things you can do. Um, so you have to have some kind of like inner fighter to to, to be willing to take that, that step out. There's a lot of things connected to how I grew up that I was dealing with that I had to work out and work through and art brought me the way to like, like process things and um, also accept where I come from. That's really actually what started it. Eventually I started uh, doing it for more than just myself. I realized over time, the more I started sharing my work with, with the public, um, that it's also resonating with other people's experiences. So knowing that has actually motivated me to like push harder and reach further with it and to try to share the message wider. Well, I really love working in the public space. Um, murals are really special because it, creates um, access to everyone. It's very different from, you know, walking into a gallery or a museum where it can be a little intimidating. I sometimes hear like people talking about my art like in a, in a street art tour or someone explaining my work to someone else and they'll say, oh, this is an ex-Orthodox artist and she makes work about growing up religious, which is not true. I make work about my experiences, my journey. Part of my journey is having grown up. Um, religious, but there's so much more that I've experienced in my life. I feel like I am a, a representation of a woman, of a woman's voice, um, especially in the public space when there aren't that many women working. It's still pretty male dominated. Um, and it's even more powerful for me as a woman who grew up in a really controlled environment by males. Once upon a time, I was a woman that had to be quiet and you know, follow the rules and never argue or complain or ask questions. And now I have the freedom to talk about whatever I want. So I'll, I'll keep going on you know, about whatever it is I, I, I want to talk about. So part of it is the struggles of being a woman in this society.